rugged, robust and reliable. That's what we want and that's what we've been promised. So how are the INEOS engineers ensuring they deliver? Welcome back to Building the Grenadier. Well, the answer is an unrelenting obsession with testing. And that's the destiny of around 100 latest generation prototypes, the two Bs, that are being built by Magna in Austria. Some are already being evaluated in super high-tech laboratory workshops. Others shipped around the world to be punished in some of the most extreme environments on Earth. So I'm going to catch up with Head of Engineering Oliver Schlipp to find out how the Grenadier is shaping up in the real world. Um, Oliver, talk to me about 2B testing. Our main purpose of, of the beginning of the testing was really to, to validate our concept. You can develop something on the board and on the computer, but uh, you really see for the first time when you're sitting in the vehicle, when you're crashing the vehicles, does it really come everything together like planned, like simulated? We are really satisfied with the results from our hardware testing till now. They are very close to our simulations and that is always a good sign because that is the starting point for further developments and for further improvements. The first part of the 2B testing program has already been completed successfully. In Sweden, drivetrain and safety systems have been evaluated in sub-zero conditions on snow and ice. In the Alps, the Grenadier has been put through its paces at high altitude. In terms of the whole package of field testing, the, the figure that's always been in my head is this 1.8 million kilometres of testing. Is that on track? At the moment, so all the testing is ongoing. We, we have a plan with the vehicles, uh, they're running those kilometres, I would say on-road and off-road. Uh, we have 1.8 million as a, a final goal. We will ride more than 300,000 off-road kilometers uh, out of that. Probably we are 20 to 25 percent through at the moment. Right now we started our rough road durability testing. Uh, we have our water tightness program, a corrosion protection program, and uh, then, uh, then we continue with our winter testing behind us, uh, preparing now uh, summer testing, preparing high-speed testing, and looking forward to the remaining program of the 2B vehicles. Give me a sense of geographically where testing is going on. We're testing in more than 15 countries at the moment. We choose the countries with the most challenging environments. We will test in, in Austria, Germany, Italy, Spain, South Africa, Namibia, Sweden, Iceland, United States. Has there been any learning from the testing, Oliver, that's fed back into the engineering and development teams that's actually made a difference to what customers will end up getting? Yeah, absolutely. If we talked about uh, very good results in the crash tests, we are able to improve the behavior of the airbags. That is feeding back to, to our engineers and they keep on improving then on, on those topics. We found out uh, pretty at the beginning of our 2B program uh, with our chassis tuning vehicles. In regards of drivability and stability, we will adjust a little our axle geometry. That is going on through, through all the vehicles, starting with the, with the chassis, going through body and white, testing of interior, and everything is, is done to, to improve the maturity of the vehicle when we go into our serial production and uh, at the end in the customer's hands. The balance between on-road and off-road, there's always the concern, surely there has to be a compromise somewhere. It can't be brilliant in both places. We have a promise to build one of the best off-road vehicles in the world. But we are also aware that uh, probably the vehicle will see more, more kilometers on-road than off-road with our customers. So we need to make sure that you have a very good on-road performance and for sure we keep our promise to, to, to have a fantastic uh, off-road performance. So Oliver, are you on schedule? So we have some delays, no major delays, but with everything going on in the last 12 months, we have some delays. But it was clear in, in our organization, we will not compromise on, on testing. So we have our testing program and we will go through all the testing program without taking shortcuts. 
we will stick to the plan to deliver our product to our customers. I understand that Jim Ratcliffe got to drive the 2B for the first time and a really important milestone in the project because ultimately he has to sign it off. How did it go? We met him in Graz, took him with us to the, the famous Schöckel mountain to really do the, the rough road testing together with him. He was happy with the performance of the vehicle. Sure, we have some work to do to improve on, on some topics, to improve the uh, maturity of the overall vehicle. Uh, but, but he was pretty happy. Uh, I, I would say he's not just our most important customer, he's, he's also uh, challenging the program a lot. He knows what he's talking about and, and we will deliver. So it's going to be a busy few months for the prototype fleet and not just testing. One of the two Bs will be supporting the INEOS Grenadiers cycling team as its official reconnaissance vehicle through this season's racing campaign and you'll have a chance to get inside another one yourself at a global road show. More details coming soon. There's a lot going on.